Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to set Microsoft Edge to stop tracking passwords and form entries in Windows 10. So as most of us are aware, Microsoft Edge is the latest browser built into Windows 10 and is the new replacement for Internet Explorer essentially, even though Internet Explorer is still present in Windows 10. So many of you guys might be using Microsoft Edge without even knowing it even though I doubt many of my subscribers on this channel would think that. Um, this icon down here is the Microsoft Edge icon. And just for example, if we did Internet Explorer here, this is the Internet Explorer icon. I just want to draw that distinction here because we are going to be going over how to do it for the Microsoft Edge browser. So I don't want people getting lost with Internet Explorer here and wondering why I'm making a tutorial that doesn't even show the settings that are coming up for them and that is because we're going through the Microsoft Edge browser. So anyway, we're going to open up the Edge browser to start. We're going to go to the More Options icon at the top right with the three little dots next to each other and left click on it. You know, it should be horizontal dots. Then you want to left click on settings from this drop down pick list. Scroll down on this page towards the bottom where it says View Advanced Settings. So left click on that. Underneath Privacy and Services, so it's not quite at the top, it's like the second section essentially. Left click on the little oval next to offer to save passwords if it's in the on position to toggle it to the off position and the same for save form entries toggle that to the off position so you won't be prompted not only if you want to save passwords but it will also not save entries that you put into websites so this can be especially useful if you have a lot of Gmail accounts or other accounts that maybe just keep showing up even though you don't use them or also if you want to be more secure and you don't want to put more information on your web browser than is necessary. So once you're done doing that, you can close out of the Edge browser and you should be good to go. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.